Hi guys, how we doing? Did uh, packaged up four bins from Doug's Dirt Diary photos from way back in the day. We're concentrating on the early days uh, of taking photos. This one was 2009. This was the first time to Skyline with uh, the cameras and the recording devices and everything. So let's see what we saw here for Skyline. Of course, Ronnie Ford has taken over the place. They will be racing on Saturday nights this year. So I'll be getting with Ronnie here soon to see how things are looking. On this particular night, IMCAs were very, very popular in the area. Back in 2009, Chris Fleming got there nice and early. Must have had a big streak going because they've got that thing all torn apart ready to do some maintenance on it uh, in the pit area. I don't remember this guy's name, so if you do, please let me know with a comment. And, of course, Jimmy the Rock, we've known him for a long time. Open Sportsman were still very popular here in 2009, and I'm sure uh, that's what this is. I don't believe that Jimmy ever ran a crate. I think he stayed pretty much with the open cars his entire time. Of course, this is Bobby Hines right there. I believe this was when the young man took over, but I'm not really sure. Uh, Dad drove the car for a while, and then the son drove for a little bit. Utica Rome was primarily where they were. Don't remember this guy, but he looks like he's right uh, right off the softball field or something, doesn't he? He's ready to go. So uh, looking good in the pit area with the shorts and ready to have some fun with his car. Ben Bashaw. And yes, that is the way to say it. You'll, you'll hear it some places. They call him Bushaw. Um, Banjo is his nickname. But of course, he's been running Modifieds lately. So, But here he is back in, in the day in 2009. Kevin Cook checking out things, getting ready to make a spring change on his IMCA Modified. And as you can see, good bit of cars in the pit area early on here at Skyline. And you can see tracks looking pretty good here right now, isn't it? We'll take a couple of looks uh, at the clay. I believe... Um, Oh, geez, why can't I think of their name? Frank and Audrey Payne. They were running the place back then. Always had a nice racetrack uh, for Skyline, so nice to see. Got some old pure stocks. I think they called them factory stocks uh, at the time. Those was old Pontiac rims. I remember those. I had those on the uh, Le Mans I had uh, from back in the day. This might be a super stock. I'm not sure, um, but I know the street stocks of the Southern Tier have always been a little more um, meaty, let's say, uh, than the ones... Uh, from up a little bit more. Uh, I know they were able to do some things. Jerry Lobdell, does that sound right to you guys? Uh, IMCA racer, let me know if you if you don't. Here's Chris Fleming, finally got his car back together, so he's going over a couple things to make sure that it is right. I believe this is Bill Anderson, and if it is, please let me know, but this car ran at Brewerton, and obviously they made their way down to Skyline for this particular show to have a little bit of fun on that track. Uh, I believe this is Richie Seeley, um... This was this thing was this was right when they were really starting to to have some fun with some of the four cylinders and and this was a beautiful car and this thing really got around the racetrack really well. Of course, his dad, one of the more uh, famous motor builders from down that way uh, as well. I always like this more power because obviously that's his last name. So this gentleman getting ready to go in and have some fun in his four cylinder like the window screen on the front there too. So this was one of my favorite places at Skyline to watch a race. This was you're in turn three on the back stretch. This was the pit grandstand for Skyline. You can see the car down there on the right. And you can see the people sitting over on the left. It was a great view as you were really close to the racetrack. And this is kind of what you saw when you were over there. So it was a, a great place to watch a race. And uh, I loved being over there and of course skyline has always been uh one of my favorite places that's billy Chantel jr coming down the ramp there and um look at this car nice looking car here brand new suit it looks like in august too it's hardly dirty so and this is another guy that I, I recognize the smile i know i know who this is i just can't come up with it right now off the top of my head so another nice this is a pontiac right here you can tell by the nose on that one right there is this guy's getting ready to go out and have some fun early in the night at Skyline. Man, I can't think of his first name. Uh, Jordan is his last name. I know that. If you guys know, please let me know. I've been banging my head into the wall since I saw this picture, trying to remember who it was, and there's his whole crew and everybody right there. So if you know, please put it in the, the comments, guys. So uh, I, re I remember this guy, too, because I remember how tall he was and wondered how he was going to fit uh, in that race car. So... Here's uh, Billy Chantel Jr. right here with the 194. Or was that Randy? 
Might be. I'm not sure. Let's go back to that one for a second. I think that was Billy in the first picture, and I think it was Randy in the second one. So, And now it's race time. Uh, probably hot laps at this point, but uh, the four cylinders uh, getting ready to go out and have some fun out on the racetrack. And, of course, IMCA Modifieds, like we said, there's a whole bunch of them in the pit area on that night. And this is one of the things I liked about the place the most. I love the lawn chairs. It had kind of the feel of almost like a, a drive-in movie to go to Skyline and watch that because people would bring the chairs. They'd bring you in and they'd charge you about how many people were in the car, kind of like they would back in the old movie theater days. And, of course, this was obviously a qualifying heat race uh, getting ready to go, but uh, Skyline has always had a, a soft spot in my heart, the long trip up the hill to get there, and then it seems like the longer trip down at the end of the night, and boy, if you have a GPS, you better use it, because there's some twisty turns coming back, if you're not familiar with the road. Um, more than a few engines have struggled getting up the hill, and more than a few trailer brakes have uh, possibly failed on the way uh, down the hill, and of course, you know me, I like to get artsy. Here's one right from Dean Reynolds, uh, so the sunsets or something we always try to take advantage of when we had the chance to do it. But uh, again, love Skyline. I hope things go well for them this year. Ronnie Ford is at the helm at Skyline. We're going to reach out to him soon and hopefully have him on here. They're back to Saturday nights. So hopefully things are uh, looking up for Skyline and uh, just wanted to make sure I shared this bin with you. Make sure, of course, like we said, to uh, like Hit the like button, um, leave a comment, especially if you know who some of these guys are that, that, that I missed here. Because, I, again, I apologize uh, for that. But um, if you know, please leave me a comment. Subscribe, of course. We're at 3,400 subscribers. We'd like to get up another 100 here pretty soon and eventually like to get uh, over 4,000. The only one way to do that, and that's by you guys hitting that subscribe. Turn the notifications on, too. That way you won't miss anything. So every time we do something new, you'll be able to see it right there. Hope you guys like all this stuff. We'll be back with more tomorrow as you guys getting this on thursday and of course if there's some shops some people around you'd like us to go to just let us know paypal is out there paypal.me slash doug elkins racing there's also a super thanks button at the bottom we could use it guys if we only got uh, even even 15 20k we'd be able to do this thing and not have to worry about expenses and we'd be able to get to a lot more places hope you guys are doing well i hope you enjoyed this